Good evening. <laughs> I am Dr. Juanita Rice. I'm a retired university professor, but I am not an egghead or an elitist or an intellectual. I come from a farming and working class background. I live in Nebraska. I'm here to speak for the people. I wasn't paid. I wasn't shipped in. I'm not speaking for anybody else. I am opposed to the pipeline. And the reason I want to speak is that I am not just opposed to the particular route. I know that that is important, and many people have addressed that. But I want to talk about the overall global picture. I can't bring you photographs of the devastation that so-called tar sands mining cause. But you can find some, and I wish you would. The tar sands are the largest industrial project on the face of the earth. The tar sands displace an area the size of Vancouver Island now and will grow to consume an area the size of the state of Florida. The tailings ponds are so huge that a few of them can already be seen from outer space. Then imagine yourself there standing on a mountainous, toxic dam in full hazmat protective gear, necessarily, inside your gas mask, with tailing sands skidding across your goggles and staring out at a poisonous tailings pond miles long, no end in sight. According to US legislation from 2007, such oil, as is exported from the tar sands, is illegal for the US to buy or sell. Allowing it a free ticket, therefore, to flow via pipeline across our country is like allowing cocaine or methamphetamine to be carried across the country if Canada legalized it. They said they're willing to take care of it. But what can that mean in a year that, in a, in a couple of years that have seen BP spill in the Gulf, have seen the disaster in Japan, the disaster in the Yellowstone River right now, in the Kalamazoo River? What, how can you take care of that? Moreover, and I guess this will be my last point, I'm speaking for some non-people here today. I love America not just for its human beings and its money and its prosperity and its energy, but also for the animals and wildlife that surround us. We are in the central flyway. Some species of birds, 100% of those species go right through the rainwater basin where I'm from. That is important. Caribou may be extinct in Alberta in 30 years. Thank you. Thank you.